right, welcome to the New Space Podcast, Episode 2. There's been some shuffling around of episodes. I know that I talked about a series. That series is being worked on, but I want to release all those in a sequential fashion. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I, I, I want to release them so that there's even spacing between them. It's kind of like a series that comes out every this day at this time. Um, so I'm going to finish all the episodes and then put them up here when they're all done, um, which yeah, probably should be in about a month. Um, there's a lot of companies to go over, so. But I wanted to talk today about something that is very, very much on the forefront of the news um, and politics and just the world, for that matter. Um, and if you can't tell I'm talking about, it's the invasion of Ukraine. Now, I'm not going to talk about my thoughts on if it's justified. I don't think it is, but I, I don't want to talk about, you know, the politics of it. Uh, I, I do want to, and this is a space podcast, so I want to stick to space. So the reason why I'm mentioning this is because the vice prime minister, I think is what his name is. Yeah, the vice prime minister of Ukraine, and I am going to butcher this, and I'm so sorry, Mikhailo Fedorov, I could be wrong, but... Hopefully I'm not that far off. Um, who is the vice prime minister of Ukraine asked Elon for Starlink satellites or uh, Starlink um, access to Starlink satellites, I should say. And the reason why is because we're they need to be able to communicate with their military, and Starlink is in low Earth orbit. Uh, it's a low latency, high speed internet. Um, and you know, it may give the Ukrainians at least a boost. I'm not gonna say the upper hand because the Russians are pretty well equipped, equipped, but I, I, I do want to think that it would help them out. Um, so in terms of that, um, but Elon Musk saw this and like, he sent out a tweet, uh, tagging, uh, Mikhailo Fedorov. Um, saying Starlink service is now active in Ukraine, more terminals en route. So, and then, of course, Fedorov responded, Starlink terminals are coming to Ukraine. Thank you, Elon Musk. Thank you, everyone who supported Ukraine. So, and if you hear clicking, it's me on my computer. Um, I'm looking at Twitter right now. So, why is this so important? Well, like I said, for military logistics, you have to be able to communicate with your military quickly and efficiently without too much interruption, without too much delay without too much time it takes for the signals to get past. And so when you have a um, satellite in low Earth orbit with low latency, you you get that. That's what you get. So, and Elon Musk being the, you know, in my, I don't think there are a lot of kind billionaires out there. You become a billionaire because you like money and you find ways to get it. I think Elon Musk just happened to, he just, he stumbled upon becoming a, a billionaire by trying to do good. He stumbled upon millions with Tesla. Um, and a better way to do um, money transfer, AKA Zip2, or, which was bought by um, uh, eBay. No. I think, I think that was bought by eBay and they also created PayPal. Um, and then he created SpaceX to try and make humans become a space-faring civilization. He and I think he just I think he just stumbled upon becoming a billionaire. It's my honest opinion on of him. And he's he's just being Elon. He's trying to help out. And I don't think anyone is in favor of the invasion of Ukraine. I remember Margaret Thatcher was giving a uh, interview, and of course I'm not going to comment on my opinions of Margaret Thatcher. But Margaret Thatcher is saying, this just doesn't happen. You just don't, and this was on the uh, the Falkland Wars. Like, you just don't invade countries anymore. Like she said, like, we didn't think that this happened anymore. And here we are in 2022, and I'm like, we just don't invade countries. But, yeah, I guess, I guess we're not over that yet. Um... And so anything to help out the Ukrainians would be amazing. So Elon gave them Starlink. Um, and, and he just, I don't know if he, he just, but uh, Mikhail Fedorov uh, posted a picture saying Starlink is here. And thank you, Elon Musk. And he, and he showed a picture of an armored vehicle with a bunch of Starlink terminals in it. I'm going to release in a, in a few weeks the first episode of 
that series of companies. And I'm going to talk about SpaceX in it. And I, I mentioned how Elon is just a good guy. I know a lot of people don't like him, and I understand the reasons why they don't. I do. Um, I think he's a genius. I think he is. He cares, unlike Jeff Bezos, which is definitely a subject that will come up in the future. Um, and he's really just trying to do the good thing for the for the world. And I think this is proof of that. He is giving at no cost. Starlink terminals to a foreign country in a war zone for the purpose of helping them out. I, I mean, <laughs> who else would do that? There is no other person who would do that. Even some countries won't do that. Uh, Switzerland just came out. For the first time in their history of existence, they have taken sides. They are not, in a, they are not releasing a, a declaration of neutrality. They are putting sanctions. So, yeah, Switzerland just got in, but a bunch of other countries are just staying quiet. Africa's staying quiet. Asia staying quiet. Well, minus China. Um, so, I mean, if, if some countries won't do that, and, I mean, I haven't heard anything, at least from support from other billionaires. I could be wrong. But, when you just look at what's happening, this is really really important and it's good so this is a very short episode I, I just wanted to i just saw this and i thought i'd make an episode on it so i just wanted to mention the fact that this is happening um and and mention the fact that you know space isn't just about space and uh, that phrase is a little confusing wording wise but it makes sense when i explain it we use space for much more than space purposes like People get annoyed with NASA for the fact that it has so much funding, which in reality has very little funding, well, at least compared to what it was during the Cold War, which is understandable. But they're like, why are we spending money on giving SpaceX some funding? Like, why, why is the taxpayer helping fund SpaceX? And the reason why I say the taxpayer is because NASA does give them money. So the, it, SpaceX, while it may be a public or a private company, does get money from the taxpayer. <clears throat> like the Starlink... Uh, not Starlink. The Starship program has gotten funding from NASA. Therefore, the citizens have helped pay for Starship. Um, however, people are just like, I've I've heard all over the place. Like, why are we funding a space organization? We've got enough problems on Earth. This is why. It's because space isn't just about planets and moons and nebulae and big and the big bang and looking back in history and the james webb space telescope and every other and voyager and uh, perseverance like it's not all just about that it is about here on earth all of your phones connect to some satellite in space the gps in your car goes to space like everything that makes you connected to everything else happens through space and this is why space is important it's because Space is helping them out. Space is helping Ukraine. The low Earth orbit, low latency satellites of Starlink are helping Ukraine. So, before you are quick to criticize the way we spend our money, don't look at something one sided. When you see the word space, you tend not to think about Earth. But Earth is in space. It's this floating blue ball in a vacuum of nothing. We're not the center of the universe. We aren't where it all started, and we aren't the ground. We are this marble floating in a vast, infinite expanse of nothingness. We are very lucky to be alive if, if you look at the amount of planets and star systems and just galaxies in general that exist the chance of us existing is is so low and and this we may think that seven billion people is a lot and it is but compare that to the entirety of the universe that's like nothing We are this perfect, well, 
the pl- <laughs> the planet like the the construction of the planet is perfect not the people on it we are this perfect blue marble floating in a vast expanse of nothingness and that vast expanse of nothingness is helping a, a, a at least to my opinion innocent country fight for its sovereignty and its independence i do support ukraine and elon does too at least from what i can deduce from his actions if i mean if he didn't i doubt he would do this so there's there's two messages here one space isn't just for space space is for everything and two There's a reason why we spend our money the way we do. And it's to help people in need. At least that's the way Elon sees it. His purpose in life is to help people in need. And to help a civilization in need. So that's all I have to say on this matter. Uh, We've been here for 11 minutes. That's not bad. But yeah, it is it is short, especially compared to the last video. It is short. So yeah, thank you again for listening to New Space. We'll have more purely space episodes in the future. But I hope that you did enjoy, and I hope that you did at least learn something and, and are keeping up to date with Ukraine and everything. But yeah, until the next time you get to hear my angelic voice, have an amazing day or a night or whatever time it is where you are. Um... And I will see you next time on New Space. Thank you for listening. Never stop exploring.